start things off, I sit down and talk to international model, inspiring artist, and my very best friend, Justin Lacco, who is back and very fresh from his experience on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. How, how did you put up with eating that disgusting food? Hi, Rosie. Oh, my gosh. I don't even know how I did it. I really, truly don't know how I did it. Uh, each time I had to sit down with the rest of the camp and Chris and Julia came in and they were about to announce who would go on the next Tucker trial. And, of <laughs> course, we, it's quite daunting. It's really quite daunting to kind of be in a scenario where you don't know what's ahead of you for the day and what challenge you might have to take on. But the Tucker trials, eating that food. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> I had to literally keep praying every single time that I would be able to make it through and not throw up and not feel sick. But you know, I had my moments, I really did. What was the, the worst thing you had to eat out of all the food trials? Oh, um, you know, there was this one trial which was called Groundhog's Day. And it was a repeat over and over oh, again of eating the exact same thing. And um, it was, you know, pigs fallopian tubes and um, oh. guts and oh, it was just absolutely revolting. And at the end of it, there was a, a pig snout that we had to tackle. And I'll never forget, it was Shane and myself, Shane Crawford. And, uh, you know, he struggled so much. He really did, but he's a legend and he came through, so. But you were such a good team player like you'd support everyone through the challenges out of all the time you were on the show like we only see a small percentage it's edited yeah. but who do you feel you formed the closest bond with oh uh, you know it changes uh, I, I, in the beginning i developed a very very strong bond with jackie jackie lambie um i never thought i would be able to you know have a, some sort of a relationship with a politician because yeah. i thought that'd be quite controversial and you know, Jackie is not, you know, no one to really fear from how she really thinks and voices her opinion quite often. But I absolutely loved her. She was almost like my leader and I was her little soldier and she'd prep me up for every single trial and build up my confidence. And you know, she, she never ceased to kind of let me down. And you also took, is it Catherine Lang under your wing from Bald and the Beautiful Hours yeah. of the World? Uh, Catherine's so beautiful, first of all, and you know she's been doing uh, 31 years with Bold and the Beautiful. So, my gosh, I wish I was like that. I hope to be like that one day. You know, like just constantly working at the exact same thing and living a very happy lifestyle. You know, she's a very mesmerising woman and someone who you really look up to. And she did also struggle. She has claustrophobia, mm -hmm. and when it came down to the Sunday Slam, she became instantly claustrophobic when we had to put you know the goggles on and the, the helmet that enough for her was you know really difficult so I had to obviously try and help her out and yeah mentor her and what about Richard you formed such a strong bond with him mm. like are you are you keeping close with everyone now that you've come out is there anyone in particular you really do not like or did you feel that when you were in there you were bonded with everyone then you come out you're watching the show like yeah. how has your perception changed about the people that you met in there um well first of all yeah richard reed i absolutely adore after jackie left um midway uh, i straight away um you know became very close uh with richard richard has uh this uh, patience that a lot of people don't have and he kind of gives you the time of the day and listens to your story hears your voice and tries to understand to the best of his ability you know what makes you you and I think that's something that not many people have so it, it, it was really easy for me to create a bond with Richard and he became more of a father figure to, to me uh, he's an amazing person and I'm so grateful for you know meeting him in the jungle because I can see us being lifelong friends um, everyone I did enjoy the time my time with and you know you have your ups and downs and each week it's different sometimes I thought oh I don't like this person and then the next minute they became my best friend so there's no one who I really did not like my biggest surprise is probably probably Natasha yeah. Natasha yeah. I didn't really speak to or I didn't give much time of day to her and it wasn't until after she was eliminated and the day after I was eliminated that outside of the jungle we kind of, you know, came together and uh, we actually had a lot of fun. 
with each other. I did see on your Insta story it was a birthday and you yeah. bought her a birthday cake. Yeah. So you've obviously bonded with some people after the jungle, but for yourself, who you were before you went in the jungle, mm -hmm. how have you feel you've grown now that you've come out? Because you learn obviously a lot about yourself when you're in there. What have you learned about yourself coming out? Um, what have I learned about myself? Probably, you know, just to just to listen to people. Once again, I think it's such an importance to kind of, yeah, just just hear someone's story and uh, learn a lot about what their experiences, their experiences have been in life. Um, we always think that we know everything and um, we can be a, a bit self, selfish at times. So it's important to kind of, you know, come out of this experience and act a bit more selflessly. And um, Susie from the Kids Foundation, mm -hmm. like she was so happy obviously with how hard you worked to raise as much awareness for their foundation and their foundation really needs the support there. Mm. Will you be working continuously with them now you're outside of the jungle? Yeah, well, I am an ambassador for the Kids Foundation, so I do have uh, plans to go and visit the kids and um, spread the awareness and, um, you know, go visit yeah, everyone individually or if not all together. Yeah, I I'm really excited to kind of jump into the deep end and. Uh, start getting on board and um, having a bigger participation within the foundation. And um, I was actually showing a lot of your artwork to the public while you were oh. in there. Do you have any plans on do you had such a positive response with it. Do you have any plans on what you want to do with your artwork? Yeah, um, in regards to also the Kids Foundation later on in, in the year, I do want to put on an exhibition where, you know, uh, part of the profits um, for my artwork I want to be able to give towards the foundation and bring more aware the foundation in itself and, and, and what it's all about so um, there will be an exhibition at the end of the year and um, it will be for the Kids Foundation as well so and how much weight did you lose while you were in there because now you're back you've got to get back into modeling mm. what, what are the struggles with that like how's it been yeah well I'm, I'm usually someone who you know, it takes a lot of pride in my image and it's part of my, my career being a model and working overseas so um, you know I'm always fluctuating going up and down but I did lose 10 kilos I guess that's what oh, rice and beans wow. does to you yeah no well, you know our portions of food are very very limited and it, that's it that's exactly what the trials are about in the jungle so yeah I lost a phenomenal amount of weight and managed to put a bit of it back on so <laughs> Straight away after I, after I left the jungle, I was eating every single thing that was put in front of me. Chocolate, cake, um, chips, you name it, everything. The steak, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Do you have any messages? You had so many fans following your Instagram, inboxing me. Do you have any messages that you'd like to say to them? Yeah, I mean, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who voted for me. Not only were you voting for me to stay in, but you were voting for my foundation, the Kids Foundation. So I think that every single one of the children on behalf of the Kids Foundation are very, very grateful. So am I. Um, keep fighting um, for something bigger than yourself and never, ever feel that your voice is never heard because together we can conquer the world and we can, you know, make... Uh, foundations more aware and I think that's the beauty of I'm a celebrity get me out of here so thank you so much to everyone who voted and for watching it was great chatting with you and I missed you so much so it's good to have you back <laughs> thank you Mwah.